Hello guys, I am engineer Rahmat Adnan Khan and you are watching my YouTube channel Civilology. In this video lecture, we will discuss the advantages and disadvantages of retrofitting and other two types of retrofitting that is retrofitting of masonry structures and other retrofitting techniques. In part one of the retrofitting video, we discussed the retrofitting of reinforced concrete structures the link of that video is given in the description. Please also watch that video to get a better understanding of retrofitting. So let's discuss the other two types of the retrofitting. First one is retrofitting of masonry structures. Uh, it includes the crack stitching in plaster. As you can see over here, the cracks has uh, arrived in the wall and stitching is being done with an epoxy or uh, uh, melted rubber so that the uh, cracks should not expand. Uh, this is the retrofitting technique in which cracks are stitched. The other type is cement grouting in cracks. Cement grouted uh, is actually uh, a paste is made of a uh, small amount of sand is added and a cement is a cement in a large quantity is added and it is filled between the gaps that is filled between the cracks to avoid the penetration of uh, moisture or water uh, to avoid the expansion or expanding of the cracks. This is also the method of retrofitting. Uh, the third one is short creating. In short creating, uh, loose concrete is made whose workability is very high and, and it is pumped with pressure and it is also used for the uh, protection of soil uh, to avoid erosion and it, uh, it is also uh, one of the retrofitting techniques. The other retrofitting techniques include the retrofitting of walls. Uh, the retrofitting can be done by providing cavity walls, can be used for insulations, and internal or external insulation methods can be adopted for walls. And cladding of external and internal services can be done. For roofs, the retrofitting involves insulation and ventilation systems, and it can be provided in the roofs insulation and ventilation uh, ventilation systems can be provided in roofs the retrofitting of doors involves uh, that is door can be replaced with high performance doors and draught proofing can be done for windows and for windows double or triple glazing can be installed and draught proofing of existing glazing should be done for floors floor should be properly insulated and tanks and pipes for tanks and pipes, legging should be done. Uh, whereas lighting is involved, new control system should be installed, occupancy sensors should be installed, and light emitting diode should be installed. And for air conditioning, use passive cooling instead. Now, coming proceeding towards the advantages of retrofitting, uh, this technique is used to prevent displacement from the concrete foundation of the structure as one of the technique is, technique is isolation of base from the superstructure and this technique used to prevent displacement from the concrete foundation. It improves the stability and safety levels of the structures. Retrofitting buildings are more adaptable and suitable for exist existing activities or further activities and making a building more comfortable to resist loading. It helps to prevent damage to the structure and injury to the occupants. Retrofitted buildings are more energy efficient and lower carbon emission from the building operations. The process helps to improve a resident's ability to keep residents safe when there is an earthquake. Retrofitting also helps to make homes more habitable after any major earthquake. Also, when you get retrofitting done in your home, most insurance companies have increased their insurance benefits. Ensuring the local capacity of the structural and non-structural components. And now disadvantages of retrofitting of building is the skill of the worker must be complying with the adapted retrofitting approaches. Limited access to the construction site since the building could be still in function. Difficulty of bonding may arise between the old masonry and the new con new concrete surface. Uh, in this case, some plasticizers should be used to make a better bond between the old concrete and the new concrete. Concrete has higher strength than the old masonry structures. Thus, special care should be given to specify the strength of overlaid concrete. 
so that's all for today in the end you are again requested if you are new to my channel please subscribe it and press the bell icon to get more video updates